Welcome to Grateful Kids. Today we're going to learn how to paint a pumpkin. Let's get started! Today we are going to need paper towels, a glass of water, variety of paint brushes, acrylic paints, watercolor paper, and a paper plate to put your paint on. And don't forget a toothbrush. It's for splattering. Don't forget. Okay. We are going to be using black acrylic paint. You're going to need a lot to cover your background. And we are also going to put on purple, but if you don't have purple, you can use a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. Grab a big brush to mix it to make purple. We are going to be painting our background black and purple. If it's skipping like this, you need to add more paint to your brush. But don't put on water, because if you put on water, it's going to make your paper buckle. You can use a mixture of the black and the purple, or just the purple, or just the black. Whatever you want. Let your background dry. You can use a black or purple piece of paper to skip this step. It'll make it a lot easier. And faster. If you want. Your choice. Your also, you need to wash your brushes, or else you will ruin your brush. I'm making there be like kind of, you can barely see the ground and you can kind of see clouds because it's a cloudy sky. Okay, so I'm going to paint the whole bottom green so it can be, so the pumpkin can be on it. I'm going to take a toothbrush and dip it in the water and then put some white paint on it. Just a little bit. Make sure you do this away from your canvas and you're going to pull and flick it. So it makes some stars. Yeah, I'm gonna add lightning to mine. I used a flat brush and I am using the tip to create the lightning. There's lots of lightning going on. Lots and lots and lots. It'll probably be going on forever. Now we are going to mix red and yellow, but if you have an orange, then use your orange because that's a lot easier and a lot faster. Mix, 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 mixing. Looks okay. like mustard and ketchup. <laughs> mix, mix, mixing. Mixing. Make sure you don't get too much red. Start with your yellow and then add your red. Okay. Now we are going to paint the shape of our pumpkin. Pumpkins are round. They can be Tall oval, wide oval, circles. I'm gonna do a wider oval. So pumpkins also have bumps. Like this, on the tops and the bottoms. Also make sure your pumpkin is centered in the middle. You also would want it a little bit down and up. And don't worry if you make mistakes, you can always fix it. Okay. To make sure you center it, you want to have equal distance from the side and the top. You can always go like this and turn it over so you have more room for the top on your stem. So once you have it sketched, you're going to fill it in with the color. When you want to fill it in, it's easier to use a big fat brush rather than a tiny brush because with the big brush, you can fill in a lot more and, and a lot faster. You're going to grab a round brush and you're going to go where the dips are with black paint. I'm making a face with the eyes. Done, done. I'm going to add a lighter color to the edges to give it some dimension. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can. So I added an outline on it because I like outlines. And then I added a, a dark green stem to match the dark background and added a little swirly thing, a little fine thing. Let me make it just a little bit lighter so you can actually see it so it stands out of the background. There we go. Ta-da! I am adding the stem to my pumpkin now. I am using a flat brush. I'm using a flat brush because a flat brush is easier to use for making edges. Now, I'm gonna make loop-de-loop, -loop, a swirly thing. I am now using a pointed round brush. 
because it is better for making small details and lines. It's going to be sitting on grass, so I'm going to make grass. Make sure you have a lot of paint to cover up the stars or whatever your background is. If you don't, it will be translucent. I am going right up to the bottom of my pumpkin so it looks like it is sitting on the grass. I'm also going to go a little bit above my pumpkin so it doesn't make it look so flat. No. I'm adding little mini pumpkins to mine. This is their king. You can be creative and add whatever you want. I added a face to my pumpkin, which is an angry one. I can see the zombie. He's wearing shorts. I'm going to add a little bit of dark right here so it gives it some dimension. This is the shadow. After you are done with your masterpiece, you sign your work. But make sure you use a small brush. Thank you for creating with us. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to subscribe and give a big thumbs up and share with your friends. I hope you had fun. Bye! 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 Hi, welcome to Create Fun Kids. Yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> you can use your little. You gotta be creative. That pumpkin and I'm pumpkin yard. This this right. And then I'm going to take the toothbrush and I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, camera. How are you doing today?